There's nothing worse for a math student than finding that a question that they thought they couldn't do was actually identical to a question which they definitely could do, but they didn't realise because they didn't recognise that question. And here we have an absolute perfect example of that. OK, so this question here, um, uh, regular Gressy Academy uh, YouTube subscribers may recognise as being one we did the other day. The number of ways in which 21 identical apples can be distributed between three children, so each child gets at least two apples, is, and this is an example of dis distributing identical objects between distinct people and boxes. What some people may not realise is that counting integer solutions to equations x plus y plus z equals a is identical. This question here, which is the one we're going to do today from the JE Main Jan 2023, is identical to that. Um, so what we're going to do is just a very, very brief recap of how we did this one on the right. Uh, so basically what we did uh, was we had our 21 apples and we said we're going to distribute between the three children using stars and bars uh, and because each child gets at least two we're going to take off six of those 21 apples which leaves us with 15 apples uh, which we're going to use the formula m plus m minus one c m minus one which gives us 17 c2 which gave us 136 as the answer to that question. Now, we were dealing with identical apples and distinct children. Let's have a look at question here. What we're dealing with is distinct variables, x, y, and z, and you could consider them to be the children if you wanted to, and 21 identical number ones, if you like. So we got 21, number 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We got 21 of those identical uh, number 1s and we got to split them using our bar and, and I'll, I'll use a wiggly bar just to come. So there's bar number 1 and here's bar number 2 and that is how many X is and that is how many Y is and that is how many Z is. It's exactly the same method. It's basically an identical object into distinct bits, bins or whatever. So all we have to do here is we say, OK, well, we've got X has got to be greater than or equal to 1. So let's give him that one. Y has got to be greater than or equal to 3. So let's give Y that one. And Z has got to be greater than or equal to 4. So let's give him those four. And that will leave us with, 4 add 3 add 1, 8, it will leave us with 13 identical 1s to distribute between x and y and z and the way to do that is using this formula which is 13 plus uh, 3 minus 1 c 3 minus 1 which equals 15 c 2 which equals 15 times 7 which equals 105 and that is the answer to that question there very simple uh, and identical to the one uh, in january 2024 um so i hope you um appreciated uh, that these are identical if you like this video please um, like it and uh, subscribe to the Gressy Academy YouTube channel thank you